This is my Minolta collection. Actually, it has two film cameras and two digital cameras. The very first one from my collection, I mean, starting with the uh, film cameras, I wanted something really special and that was after a long, long, I mean, several days, a couple of weeks of um, search, I decided to buy this Minolta uh, Dinox or Dynax 7, which was made, manufactured in 2000. So this is quite a recent modern camera, the latest from this Minolta series. And it is really a sophisticated. I have published so far quite a number of uh, videos which demonstrate its features. It's absolutely brilliant. Just check out what it's capable of. It has even a wireless, a special dial to pick or switch to pick the flash mode on the camera. And then with a quick glance, you can see that now when you uh, use a flash, it will be fired with the wireless shooting. As well as it has a panel. And then we can also have the data area where I can select and read the values from here. When I press edge, you can see the first was shot actually yesterday and then the second these are the exposure details so pff, absolutely an excellent camera unbelievable that for a film camera how many features it has here you go so I had already uh, consumed uh, 19 frames from this slide film, roll of slide film. So this is my, actually this is my main film camera. This is quite hefty. This is quite hefty. So this is definitely not a small camera. And then I also have a couple of Minolta lenses for them. This is what is called the A mount autofocus mount that, that is Minolta had the older MD MC mount I used to have a camera from that era but I don't have it anymore and this one is a 28 to 135 Pooh, this is a gorgeous lens I simply love it's it's not that big for the size and it's really excellent. Then later, actually by coincidence, I bought this other Minolta camera. This is the Dinox 7XI, which is amazing in a sense that it has, check out, it has power zoom. This camera was made in uh, 1992, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a lot older camera than these seven. And it has a completely different user interface. Actually, where if and when you look at first and you had no clue that which one is the most modern, I would say that this is definitely the smartest camera because of the lot of auto intelligence function button. So the, actually the user in the card, it has a memory card in it. Check out, I have a data card in it. So amazing. So this is, this was possibly a very innovative camera. And then still, I love it. Power zoom lens from that era, excellent. This is again, a very stylish 
the body style and design look and feel is absolutely gorgeous so pff, really cool camera and then and it is not small at all it's really hefty and chunky so if you love Minolta's bigger camera these Minolta's are are for you so these are my two Minolta cameras I have and then the lenses I got for them uh, so these ah uh, one more thing this power zoom lens unfortunately is not going to work with the Sony Alpha adapter so yeah that's that's the issue the other lenses of course works great with this Sony Alpha adapter anyhow back to the lenses so when I bought my adapter actually I bought from the same guy these two Minolta lenses this was was the 28 to 135 and also the 70 to 210 again a brilliant lens I love it uh, so much this is a constant aperture for lens and it is not 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 big it works excellently remember that all <coughs> Minolta lenses are screw driven let me show what does it mean in the mount there is a pin which pops out and then drives gives power to the motors the focusing motors in the lens and in the case of um, this uh, power zoom lens it also gives power to the zoom uh, machinery too so and what is excellent that the Sony adapter I bought has also this here you go this is the scrolling so this is what we'd expect we had expected from Nikon when they release their Z mount system with the Z F mount to Z adapter but unfortunately Nikon didn't make this zoom motor into its adapter so this was my telephoto lens and then I also bought a wide lens this is actually Konica Minolta this is a D lens yep the D lens means it provides distance value and back to the camera and then it has eight pins that's the idea here this is a 17 to 35 millimeters lens and also have a 51.4 again this is a screw driven lens here you go and therefore it works this was this is the sony version however there is a minolta version of this lens too i bought the sony version because of the eight adapters i mean the eight pins sorry when Sony bought Minolta in 2006, then Sony remade most or a number of these old Minolta lenses and then at that time the number of pins was increased to 8 for this advanced functionality. Alright, and then here are my two digital cameras let's start with my oldest camera actually from this collection that is 
first I started with Sony Alpha 7 and then this is my digital companion for this Alpha mount. I don't have any <coughs> other <coughs> Sony A mount camera except this Konica Minolta which I'll explain in a moment. <coughs> Instead I use this uh, adapter which has this screw driven auto focusing motor and this autofocus engine works excellently so I can say that it is more or less the same speed as any of these so you are definitely not behind in performance so when you have the film uh, shooting experience with these cameras this will give you very similar experience on the Sony Alpha 7 and what is interesting that this digital camera even with this adapter is a lot smaller than any of these other big chunky Minolta cameras and the last one from my collection was this just sake of fun, I wanted a Konica Minolta 7D. This was Konica Minolta's first uh, interchangeable lens digital camera. What is interesting with this camera that it is has practically exactly the same user interface as the Dinox 7. So that and that's why it is called Dinox 7D. And I loved it tremendously. And what is interesting, it had in-body image stabilization. Just remember, none of these lenses has in-lens stabilization. Instead, Minolta, Konica Minolta started right away with a camera with in-body in image stabilization. This is an APS-C CCD sensor SLR digital SLR so it's not mirrorless at all still it has in body image stabilization yeah <clears throat> so this is my collection and I was wondering whether to buy a, a more decent lenses expensive lenses like the Zeiss uh, 16 to uh, 35 or 24 to 70 uh, millimeters <clears throat> lenses but because I was so happy with the performance and the small size of all these traditional Minolta len the lenses that so far I didn't spend that hefty money on those uh, expensive Zeiss lenses uh, it doesn't mean, of course, that maybe in the future I might buy some of them. And the other <clears throat> question, why I didn't buy A99 or an A850, that's because of this adapter. I'm so happy with that. The only caveat and the limitation of this adapter that this power zoom lens cannot be used with this adapter, unfortunately. So this power zoom lens works only with uh, the film cameras, as well as with this Konica Minolta digital camera. It works also with Sony Alpha cameras A99, A850, but, but not with this adapter. So that that was my Minolta autofocus collection, actually my only Minolta collection. Again, the idea here was to use the same lens system, both for film shooting as well as digital photography.